Hi, everyone, and here's our devotional for Wednesday, September 16th, 2020, entitled Be Still. Oh, yeah, and the book we're reading is God is With You Every Day by Max Lucado. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 4610. Jesus taught us to pray with reverence when he modeled for us, Hallowed be your name, Matthew 6, 9. This phrase is a petition, not a proclamation, a request, not an announcement. Be hallowed, Lord. Do whatever it takes to be holy in my life. Take your rightful place on the throne. Exalt yourself. Magnify yourself. Glorify yourself. You be Lord and I'll be quiet. Be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46.10 NIV. This verse contains a command with a promise. The command, be still. Cover your mouth. Bend your knees. The promise, you will know that I am God. The vessel of faith journeys on without waters. Belief rides on the wings of waiting. In the midst of your daily storms and in this storm that has swept over our country and even the entire world, Make it a point to be still and set your sights on him. Let God be God. Let him bathe you in glory so that both your breath and your troubles are sucked from your soul. Be still. Be quiet. Be open and willing. Take a moment to be still and know that he is God. Be still and allow God to be hallowed in your life. For the tough times, that's also called. Wow. You know, and I wonder when this was written even, because like, well, we're going through a pretty crazy storm right now, aren't we? And it's like, wow, we just pray for God's protection and help through this time. Um, I don't know which version it is, the NASB or something. One of my authors in her newsletter always puts this um, in her signature, but be still and know that I'm God. Cease striving is the way I, I think it's the NASB puts it. Cease striving. That's hard sometimes, isn't it? Because we're always thinking, well, I got to do this. I got to do that or whatever. But it's like, wow, be still and know that he is God. Um, um, I wish there was a pause button on here. There's a song by Stephen Curtis Chapman that I think is really appropriate for this devotional. And I guess it's called God is God and I am not. I don't remember all the words, but let's see if we can try it. God is God and I am not. I can only see a part of the picture he's painting. God is God and I am man. I could never understand it all for only God is God. Look that up on YouTube. I love that song. It's really kind of puts us in our place, doesn't it? (laughs) And I I wouldn't even want to try to be God. Have you guys seen the movie Bruce Almighty? Um, That movie, it could sound like a mockery, but really, it kind of really puts it in a real life perspective because like all these prayers started coming at him and it's like, whoa, it overwhelmed me just, you know, imagining all the stuff that was going on. And it's like, wow, God. It's amazing because every single one of us is heard. I mean, how many billions of, how many people are on this planet, do you know? Not a clue. Oh, I don't either. Billions, trillions, I don't know. But like all, every single person on this planet, God hears. Isn't that awesome? I mean, and he He hears the prayer of the the. The wandering person coming back to him. He hears the prayer for help. He, pray, he hears the praise and the thanksgiving. He hears it all. Every single one. It's not overwhelming to him. He's not too busy. He's not sleeping. But he's God. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. I know I kind of went on too long. But that stuff excites me. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you. Till tomorrow.